Andrew Giussini, um, and I am a third year MD PhD student at Dartmouth. So I finished my first year as a medical school, and I'm now starting on my PhD in engineering. And once I finish with my PhD, I'll be going back to medical school. The reason I decided to apply for the innovation program, uh, I have slightly different reasons than some other people in the program. I haven't started a company. I don't know if I will or if I want to, but I have learned through my time at med school and through my time at Thayer that it's really impossible in an academic setting to bring a new therapeutic from the bench and get it into patients. So in order to successfully bring research uh, discoveries and apply them to patient care, you really do need to work with industry a lot. And I felt like that was one part of my education that I was sort of missing in this whole process. And so I decided to apply the innovation program as a way of learning the language of business and learning how to better communicate with people in the business community, learning a little bit more about intellectual property, and also um, basically learning the tools that I could use in the future when I'm working on a project that I think could be valuable in patients, but I don't know quite how to get it there from the scientific standpoint. I need some help in business. And the tools that I see the innovation program will provide me with are things like understanding patent law and understanding how to write a business proposal, understanding how to get funding for an idea. Because one of the sad facts is that a lot of great science is done and that science can be very useful and the researchers have even identified how that science can be applied to real world problems. But taking that next step and actually getting a company to take on um, you know, shepherding this new discovery through to development is uh, not a skill a lot of scientists have. So there have actually been a lot of discoveries that just end up dying out in the lab and they could be very helpful. And so I think the innovation program will, will provide me with um, the tools I need to either identify good business partners for innovations that uh, I and people I work with are able to come up with. And at the same time, it'll also help me if I so decide to um, try to start my own company to see these things through the end. There's an incredible resource at Dartmouth both in Thayer and at Tuck and at the medical school of people who've already done this. They've already um, shepherded ideas from the, from the lab to the bedside and having people around who have already done it is probably the most valuable thing that Dartmouth has to offer to people in the innovation program because they have the experiences that they can share with students and try to help them avoid some of the same pitfalls that they might have experienced. So I think it's not just the classes and it's not um, uh, just the exercises, also having the huge wealth of uh, experience at Dartmouth that makes the innovation program something that I think could be really successful for students. Mm -hmm.